<clears throat> Thank the Chairman. Uh, Mr. Secretary, there have been over 1 million plus individuals put into proceedings or released into the United States on your watch. I've asked multiple Border Patrol personnel, not the union, mind you, if we double, triple, quadruple the CBP budget, would that 1 million release go down? And they categorically said no, it would go up. Do you agree, yes or no? I'm not sure I understand your question, Congressman. Would the addition— With the number of people being released in the United States under current law, would it go down no matter how much you increased your budget? Um, uh, and it would not. As they said, do you agree, yes or no? Uh, Congressman, if I understand your question correctly, when individuals are in the United States and they make a claim right. for so asylum— The number would not go down is the answer, right? Yes or no. That's what they said, and I think you just answered it. It would not go down. Um, the only plan that you offer, the plan you just offered, is to process aliens faster and encourage more to come. We know that to be true. I know it's true. You know it's true. Cartels know it's true. And people around the world know it's true. And that's why people are coming. That is false. The secure, it's not false. Yes, it the is. The entirety of your plan says that. The Secure Fence Act of 2006 says what? That the Secretary of Homeland Security shall take all actions the Secretary determines necessary to achieve and maintain operational control over the entire international land and maritime borders. Will you testify under oath right now, do we have operational control, yes or no? Yes, we do. And we have we operational are, control of the borders. Yes, we do, and Congressman, and we are working to... So what operational control defined? In this section, the term operational control means the prevention of all unlawful entries into the United States, including entries by terrorists, other unlawful aliens, instruments of terrorism, narcotics, and other contraband. Do you stand by in your testimony that we have operational control in light of this definition? I do, and Congressman, I think the um, Secretary of Homeland Security would have said the same thing in 2020 and in it, 2019. No, the rea the, rea well, the secretary would have at least had a basis for saying that we have some sort of control of the border. But the fact is, we currently have people flowing across the border, including dangerous narcotics and dangerous members of terrorists, which your own agency sent a letter to my office after eight months. We sent a letter saying there are 42 people on the terrorist watch list that are in the United States. But you just said to Mr. Jordan, you don't even know where the hell they are. And that, that's what you're saying is operational control, Congressman. including entries by terrorists and unlawful aliens. It's not. It's not operational control. Mr. Secretary, let me ask you a question. When we're looking ahead and we're talking about asylum, okay? Here, if the officer determines at the time of the interview that an alien has a credible fear of persecution, the alien shall be detained for further consideration. Mandatory detention, any alien subject to the procedure under this clause shall be detained pending a final determination of credible fear of persecution. Or is everyone being detained, yes or no? Uh, no, and as a matter of fact, uh, Congressman, that is an issue that is before the United States Supreme Court. And, and that the fact of the matter is our law the, says they should be detained, and your agency is releasing people on purpose con in order to flood the zone and make sure that more people can come to the United con States. Congressman, and you use parole to do it. Congressman, parole that, of aliens within the following groups have been retained. Come down here on a case-by-case -case basis for urgent humanitarian reasons or significant public benefit. Yet your office is using parole. But when you use parole, the fact is they're not showing back up to ICE. Your own letter to Senator Johnson, to this, uh, this committee, have acknowledged they're not showing back up to ICE. Yeah, I mean, how can you be saying that you have operational control or that we're securing the United States when they're not showing back up? Congressman, are you... Um actually interested in the facts and the law? Yeah, because I'm actually, I'm reading you the law and I'm actually talking to you about the facts about who's into this country. Actually, you're now, let, now let's actually go to something that's... Uh, Chairman, can the witness be allowed to answer Texas. the question? It, well, there wasn't a question there it's to be answered. Gentlemen, it's time. Point. Now, now let's talk about the damage being done to the United States of America. Mr. Secretary, did you, Secretary, do you know what this is? This is a mobile morgue, a body trailer, needed by counties in South Texas, overwhelmed by dead migrants. That particular trailer is filled with these bodies, 27 bodies that were stored in this mobile morgue in South Texas with dead bodies of migrants. Dead bodies like this one found on a ranch just three weeks ago in South Texas, a dead migrant. Somehow that's compassion. How about the dead bodies found by migrants? Compassion. How about the ranchers who had to walk out of their door and this is what they faced, gentlemen with rocks threatening a rancher in South Texas only able to be saved when they are able to bring their dogs out to scare the people away in order to save themselves. Or the fact that you've got houses being attacked, you've got livestock dead on the side because we've got ranches wide open. How about the little girl here with a brand on her arm? A little girl with a brand on her arm because of your policies. A little girl here in the desert found by ranchers trying to save their life. And how about the lost voices for people dying from fentanyl? The hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands of Americans dying from fentanyl. Faces, faces of Americans.
faces of Americans across this country dying because of fentanyl pouring into our country. The time of the gentleman has expired. You know Ms. full well. The time of the gentleman has expired, Ms. Encouraging Fent people to come here, harming Texas and harming this country. Time you know it. And you're ignoring the, the time of truth. the gentleman has expired. He no longer has time to slander the secretary, Ms. Scanlon. Not slander. You know what slander is? Thank slander you, is Secretary Mayorkas. Ms. Scanlon. Ms. Scanlon. Thank you, Secretary no Mayorkas. Over here.